Hello viewers, today for repair we have a Hampton Bay solar powered fence light. We have two of these lights here. I've had to repair the other one before. This one held on for a little bit longer. But um, we got a couple issues here. Number one is the it's a hanging light and the hook is broke off. The threads were plastic you can see remnants of them on the top. The threads broke off in there, so we're going to have to to glue that back together. And of course the panel is all faded from being in the sun, but nothing we can do about that. At least that I know of. Probably there's some crazy process to fix that, but it works just fine, so I'm not worried about it. Um, here's the battery. It's a uh, lithium fire polymer battery. 400 milliamps, 3.2 volts. Let's see if this has any charge left in it. It does. Okay. Now, I believe we have an issue with the switch. And we do have an issue with the switch. The last one, or the other one outside right now, whoa, the camera's moving by itself. The, um, the switch also failed and what I ended up doing was opening it up and just soldering across the switch because it's not worth replacing the switch. I never turn these off. They sit outside all year round. So let's open this up here and I don't even want to know what kind of nastiness is going to be sitting here. We could have spiders and other undesirables floating around. But hopefully not because don't want to have that stuff in the house, but anyways. Okay, I'm going to pull this out for the time being. Ugh. It's undesirable in there, just like I figured. I sure hope these are all dormant nests. Um, but anyways, there's our switch. And... If I can get this thing to stay up... What I'm going to do here, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to take one of these contacts and remove it and solder it onto the other one come on bro get in there so can't turn it off no more but doesn't matter really so let's put the battery back in and Oh, is that not the problem? There we go. So now the switch is not working and everything else is working, so good, we'll go with that. Alright, so that's fixed. Let's close this back up. Get this back outside relatively quickly because I don't want those spider nests or whatever it is in there to hatch in the house. And yeah, you're probably thinking, oh, why don't you clean the spider nests out? I have. They they just come back, so I just leave it alone now. And the last thing we gotta do to get this fixed completely to glue the hook back on. And I may have tried to glue it once before, I don't remember. The the shade is actually glass, which is which is nice because then it doesn't fade in the sun like most of these lights do. But it's also very heavy. And so for a hanging light perhaps that wasn't the best choice on their part. Okay, we can see that's working nicely. 
And for those that are curious, I believe that's the date code. It sounds about right. So these are about four, eh, three years old. Autumn in 2015, summer 2015. Oh, well, actually, I need this part too. Now, this here could serve to be washed. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll power wash both of them later today. So they're nice and clean and shining bright. But for now, let me close this back up. And this does kind of attempt to screw in a little bit, but not enough to actually catch and be secure. So we'll try, try this glue. This glue is very powerful. I'm going to put it all along here. Put it in here. And if this doesn't hold, I'll have to get some other kind of epoxy to try to get this to work again. And I'll put this in here to a point where it seems like it's making contact. And we'll just have to let that sit. Now this claims it dries in uh, 15 seconds, but with the amount I'm putting on here, which is more than typically you would use, I don't believe it'll dry in 15 seconds. So I'll let this sit for a number of hours, and I'll put it outside, but otherwise that's ready to go. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out.